Have you ever watched Jubilee videos? The the thing where they the the blind dating and they have to they talk to a person and they hit a buzzer if they want to yeah, cancel the yeah. date. Okay, so there, there, there was, was this, the one. Yeah, there was the Asian dude, right? There was this was Asian tra- dude who was very crafty. Yeah, and he hugged the mm-hmm. women. He said, "Hey, do you want a hug or to see how tall I am or whatever?" Very very smart, and he did that. <laughs> but then he did it to see if they're fat. Right, and so he would buzz out the women who were fat, and he buzzed out other women too. I don't know, but you could see in the uh, the green room the women were talking to each other, which I don't think should be allowed. I don't know. That doesn't seem like that's is is that like the that's not a good way to run your show or anything. But it's not for money or anything, so who cares? Yeah, yeah I could they, see they a, were, very, a variant where they don't talk, and a, yeah, yeah, they were discussing talk. with each other, and they figured out that he was doing this. And the last woman buzzed him because that's sort of as a, a, a retaliation, right? Yeah, yeah. I, that's fine. I don't care. It's just, who, who cares? But the moral of the story is that they, meaning the powers that be, meaning the mainstream media, they seem to be invested in this eagerness to make men accept fat women. Do you notice that they're pairing? They often pair really, really good looking guys, in shape guys, with fat women. They're trying to normalize this sort of uh, imbalance. And when guys rebel against it or they reject it, they're shamed for being, you know, superficial. Oh, you don't want to date fat women? You're a jerk. And on the flip side, when women have standards, when women are not attracted to a guy for whatever reason, height. it's not it's not shame. Height, one big yeah. one, right? But there's a lot yeah. of other things too. Women are never shamed for whatever their standards are. It seems as if men can have zero standards. And mm-hmm. these these shows these YouTube videos, they seem to want to normalize that state of affairs where men can have no standards and women can go ahead and have standards. Mm-hmm. I think it's intentional. I think it's there's not some sort of cabal getting together and saying that we need to normalize this sort of thing, but there is a, a cultural movement towards this idea that men should have no standards. Because if you watch this video, you'll see that they're often pairing... T- Pair like a fat woman with super good looking guys, and they're just expected to stomach it. Like, yeah, this is normal. Mm-hmm. No, it's not normal. Do you think it's uh, this is like a prevalent uh, sort of phenomenon, or do you think it's just it just so happens that it's the people that are sort of in charge? It's not you know, prevalent it's just, in just real a, life. A few select people happen to be sort of right, right, right. you know pushing this agenda it's not prevalent in real life in real life attractive people assortative mating still happens attractive people get with attractive people in real life but they're mm-hmm. trying to change it mm-hmm. they're trying to change it they're trying to show us um they're trying to make men view fat women as attractive and we just are not having it because we don't <laughs> it's it's innate it's biological we just don't please do not cite to me some bullshit outlier example you know samoa or whatever where fat women are prized or something like yeah but in 99 percent of cultures fat women are not prized over fit women and it's not because the cultures are the same it's because human biology is the same wow i'm looking at uh this video there there are some pretty uh, uh, exaggerated (laughs) differences here i would say i don't (sighs) maybe it's happened but do they ever pair up a super attractive woman with a super fat loser guy? No. I yeah, I definitely I haven't seen it. Right. And if the woman said no to that guy, would they shame him or shame her for that choice? No, I really seriously don't believe that they would. This is just an inversion of Here's the thing. It's it's down to the culture war. It's down to feminism. It's a a, re- a reaction, a response. And one could argue a natural response because in history have women when when women uh, didn't have power, when they were marginalized, and I'm not talking about like 10 years ago, I'm talking about 100 years ago, okay? Did women have to accept ugly guys or fat guys? You know, did they have to just stomach whatever um, guys that they had to be with because uh, of a power imbalance? You know, if it's a male-dominated society, then women sort of have to take what they get, right? They couldn't yeah. just hold out for the hottest guys, which is what they would want to in a pure, natural environment. Of course, a woman want, wouldn't want to be with some fat guy. She would want to be with like a Chris Hemsworth, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, yes. Biologically, that's her. That's what you know. Her uh, hindbrain is telling her. 
but we impose a patriarchal culture that made women have to settle with uh, fat, ugly guys just because they own the small business or something like that. And maybe there's just this pent up resentment <laughs> over many,、mm. many years, many centuries.、Uh, and women are just now sort of,、um, it's, a, it's a backlash essentially. Now they're, since they have more of an edge, more of some leverage, they're making guys settle for. Fat women, and in that way, I could understand if you had some sort of generational pent up resentment, but it's not fair to the people in the present, right? It's not fair to the guy, some 22 year old guy. You're telling him that having the standard of wanting to be physically attractive to his potential girlfriend is fat phobic, is you know, problematic, is this and that. Whereas women having standards that a guy be six feet tall or you know, whatever standards they have, they're just fine. This double standard feels deeply unfair to the 22 year old guy in the present. He's not at fault for centuries and centuries of patriarchal culture. So why is he being punished for it? That seems, that seems deeply unfair to punish him for it. Although, I guess. It makes sense if you're a feminist and you're thinking, well, this is just payback for all of those years. But yeah, but you only had to experience X amount of years on this earth. And all those years, you weren't living in a deep patriarchal culture, right? Right. You, you don't have genetic memory of you know, the, the,、um, uh, the oppressions that your ancestors felt or whatever. It's not like a video game where you experience centuries and centuries of history. No. So now you're just mistreating men. You're being unfair. You're having this double standard. Where you're making men, or you're trying to normalize them, you're shaming them for not wanting to date, wanting to date fat women. Yeah, I, the, the pendulum just, I think it's pretty clear the pendulum has swung too far in the other direction. Yeah, it's so embarrassing. Just even being put on a show. The guy in this sh- video is a male, he says he's a male model, which I could believe. He's good looking enough and tall enough to be a male model. Why is he even being put with a, like a super obese woman? Who doesn't even dress like an adult? She's in some kind of anime costume. It's so embarrassing.、Hmm. I mean, it would be like putting a female, like a female model, and then getting her on a blind date with a, a stereotypical fat guy with Cheeto stains on his shirt, right? <laughs> It's embarrassing. It, it feels, and then、yeah. when she buzzes him out and says, I don't want to date this guy, she's the one who needs to be. Uh, interrogated. Well, why? You're, are you phobic? Are you fat phobic? No, this was a really an unfair position to be put in. Of course, she doesn't want to date him.、It's, they're not the same level. You're、right. making her say that? Yeah, I think when a woman rejects kind of a, a fat slob、uh, male, they'll say it, it's because you know, the,、uh, his appearance is reflective of his lifestyle, basically. Right. And then I don't even When, think they have to even go that far. I think that a fat slob male will, will understand his place in the world and won't even approach a model. Right. That's, that's, yeah. that's, also, that's also true. But when the, when the opposite happens, right, then they'll just say, oh, oh you're fat phobic. Right, right. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. You, but with when, when clearly the weight is also, you could say it's a reflection of their you know, suboptimal lifestyle. It is. Inability to maintain your weight is a reflection of your. I, this is, you know, sorry to say, this is controversial to say. I think it's a reflection of your character, your ability, your impulse control, your discipline. But it doesn't even have to go that deep. It doesn't even have to be a reflection of anything in your character. It's enough to say that I'm just not physically attracted to you. That is simply enough. <laughs> why, why are yeah, we.、True. Why did, can, are we questioning anybody for just saying, well, I'm not attracted, physically attracted to this person? And that is, that is your right. You don't have to be physically attracted to anybody. It shouldn't even go beyond that. There shouldn't even be a discussion past that point. And yet, we are pushing the discussion way past this point with these guys, putting them in、uh, no win situations, essentially,、yeah. where you either say no to this, this gross, gross fat person, or, or you it, say it, no to the cues of being、yeah. a phobic. <laughs> It really is. Or、bizarre. what? You say yes and you're fake? Or you say yes and you are dating somebody you are not attracted to at all? These are, this is a no win. Yeah. It's like, it's like criticizing somebody for not liking vanilla. Like, like, it's your problem that you don't like vanilla. Yeah. It's indicative of the culture we're in, for sure. People will say that this is just a YouTube video and oh, it's not a big deal. But no, no, 
this stuff, it's a peek into where people are pushing the culture. They're trying to normalize this stuff. And but what's strange about it is you could say, well, they're normalizing fat. Is doesn't that make sense? Because people are more and more fat. Yeah, on the surface, when you put it that way, sure, it makes sense. But strangely, they're not normalizing male fatness, are they?、Mm. They're not. They're really not. So, what? What is? What you have to ask yourself: What is behind the agenda here? I wonder, actually, if you look at the just the weight distribution, do women tend to be、uh, more obese than men? Yeah, they've been gaining weight faster than men.、Hmm. But both both genders have been gaining a lot of weight since the seventies.、Mm-hmm. So. Both genders are a lot fatter than they used to be, but women more so. It's not part of some mastermind agenda, I don't think, but it does make sense when you think about it in really plain, brutish, logistical terms. Which is that society doesn't move forward if most women don't procreate, right? You need most women to procreate, otherwise your population is going to decline, and that's going to be a huge problem. So we do need most women to procreate. So we need men to find them attractive, right? Yeah. So there's your agenda right there. And on the flip side, do we need most men to procreate? Well, the answer is no. We really don't need most men to procreate. If if we only had the top twenty percent of men, the tallest, the best looking ones that made the most money, if we only had them impregnate, you know, hundred percent of the women,、mm-hmm. and Obviously, they can't all marry since we don't have polygamy. But you know, we have the state, the wonderful welfare state, to jump in and support this like fucked up situation. Society will still move forward because there will still be replacement population, correct? And in fact, in history, in the long history of humankind, what is it? Only like twenty five percent of of men have procreated. Most of them die in competition. Or rejected, or whatever the fuck happened to them. But most men have failed to procreate. We're here. We're here just fine. <laughs> the human race is just fine with most men not procreating, and yet most women have procreated. So, just speaking in blunt terms, we don't need most men to procreate. So,、mm-hmm. there's no need to prop them up.、Uh, there's no need to get women to accept the bottom. Fifty percent, eighty percent of men. There's really no need. All the women can share the top twenty percent of men. But now, in a modern context, what you need to do is convince that top twenty percent of men to impregnate a hundred percent of the women. Correct?、Mm-hmm. Right. And from statistics in America, at least, we know that sixty-six percent of women are fat. So <laughs> this gives you a very basic conundrum or basic problem to solve, where you need the top twenty percent of men to. Accept that they need to impregnate a hundred percent of the women. Well, then they gotta just be able to get with some fat women, correct? Right. <laughs> that's that's the bottom line of it. Right. So yeah, but I think yeah, what what your your theory or your observation is, is、uh, pretty profound, I would say, and I think it also suggests what、uh, men have to do going forward. Right. It, it's like the top twenty percent of men need to be convinced. Not to be sluts. Correct. And ha- correct. And have、uh, you know low better standards. Yeah, they need to have better standards. Correct. And the bottom eighty percent of men need to wake the fuck up, <laughs> basically, and speak out and you know get up in arms. Yeah,、uh, that's right. Now, if you're if you're a bottom eighty, like if you're in the bottom ten percent of men, I'm not saying that you deserve like a a top tier woman or anything like that. I mean, no, you deserve a bottom ten percent of. The female population, but the problem with current trends in society is that those guys don't get anything. They they they're just, they just lose out. The bottom third of men are virgins essentially. They're sexless for at least a year or more, and that that is a huge problem for society. And these shows, these cultural movements that are pushing men towards fat acceptance, it seems that they've given up on the idea that you have one man for one woman. It seems like they could have given up on that. 